here at the Giga Ohm Roadmap. So, who are you? Uh, my name is Daniel Kim. I'm the uh, founder, president, and uh, CTO of Lit Motors. Uh, and what we do is we take the romance and the efficiency of a motorcycle and we combine that with the safety and the comfort of a car. So, uh, behind <laughs> us is our first Alpha prototype. So, right now, if you get down low, you can kind of see that. I can see what, sorry? That is self balancing. Oh, it's balancing. And uh, if I push, it's not going to fall. Hey, is it always going to balance? It's not going to fall? Uh, uh, what are you going to do to it? So, what, uh, is it, how, ba how steady is it? Right, uh, so what's in there? I'll, I'll get, get on the other side, yeah. So there are two large gyros on the inside. Uh, well, if, I, if you want to stand over there, what I can show you. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. All right, we're going to do a little... And so, it's all... Uh, so gyros and what's it, what's in here behind? Uh, so it's all the electronics. So there's an ARM processor in the back. ARM processors? Yes. So we're basically developing this like a rolling smartphone. Rolling smartphone. So what kind of ARM processor do you use? Uh, so right now, uh, Andrew would better know that better. Uh, the guy with arrow here. Yeah, he's our. Uh, Engineer. So, Andrew, what ARM processors are in here? There's no ARM processor on this, on this board. And this one, oh, the next one. The next one, yeah. The next one, what are they going to use? Probably an ARM 9. ARM 9? Yep. From um, Freescale or something? Or? Freescale, Atmel, any of your favorite. Uh, or we'll have some system on a chip, who knows. What do you have right now in here? Right now there's a, there's a lab view. Oh, there's down there, yeah. yeah. Right now there's a uh, National Instruments box in there. It has an i5 and a uh, very large FPGA. FPGA? Yep. And uh, how much power does it consume? The processor? The whole system. The whole system. Like, uh, how, what's the range? Is there a range? Is the range? Actually right? The work? Uh, yeah, the range of this thing is somewhere over 100 miles at this point, but this is a prototype. 100 miles uh, prototype? The first prototype? Where do you make this? Where do we make this? Yeah. San Francisco. San Francisco, around here? Seventh and Folsom. Seventh and Folsom, is that your headquarters? That's the headquarters, World HQ, three story Lit Motors factory laboratory. So you are engineer? Engineer. And uh, how long does it take you to make this? Oh, this has been a couple years in the works, but it's been incremental. You start small and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger. So uh, who, who designed it? How do you design this? Can well, you come over here? Sure. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a mixture of industrial design, engineering, uh, human factors, basically all the process you go through to make a product that people love. All right. Uh, so when is it going to be mass manufactured? What's the plan? Uh, we got a, we got another couple of years of engineering work before it's really really ready to go into small scale production. By a couple, I mean a year, two years or so, and then another couple of years after that to scale it into uh, big manufacturing. All right. Uh, do you think million, billions of people are going to use this? Millions? What? What? I hope. I hope millions. Maybe billions. Billions sounds a little bit aggressive, though. Yeah. Millions, millions. for sure. For sure. This is. Uh, that reminds me of Batman. Does that yeah, have anything I mean, to do with the Batman thing? There's there's people that have sent us like themselves like in Batman costumes requesting the car already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, how soon can people buy it, did you say? You can pre-order it now. You can pre-order, but it's only two years? It's going to be a little while. And what does the estimated price? Uh, the first round, the first thousand, we're targeting at 24K. All right. Cool. Just electric. All electric. What is the sound coming out of it right now? That's the gyroscope spinning, but that's because they're, we've made no attempt to make it quiet. This is just the way it sounds. Where is it? They're under They're under the seat. Under the seat here. Right here. That's the big red button. That's the key. That's the switch. It never falls? It never falls? Only if we do something stupid, like, uh, I don't know. It, but it doesn't break if it falls out of it? No, there's there's landing gear. If something goes, goes terribly wrong. Nice. Things do, uh, as, as prototypes go, some things break, 
and periodically we lose lose stability. These landing gear come and save it from falling, which is why it doesn't look all beaten up at this point. Where, where have you been showing this? Uh, since when do you have it like this? It's been running. It's been running and driving this like limited driving state since about since early September, and we did a hardware revision sometime in the middle of September, and now we're actively working on a new set of controls algorithms to make it super stable, super drivable, so we can let people like you drive it. Nice, cool. What are the big uh, motorbike and car companies saying about this? They've seen it, no? The Ford, they've seen no, it. These I, guys. Can't, I can't tell you what they say, but they've seen it for sure. They, th they think it's cool. Oh, they think it's cool for sure. How about uh, Elon Musk? Has he seen it? I, don't, I hope he has. All right. If you want, uh, I can offer him a personal invitation to come to the lab right now. Oh, yeah, let's send him the link. Okay, okay. 